Okay, what's nice is we've got some EVA protectors on either end. So basically when it's in transit, and I know a few manufacturers do this now, obviously when you put it in the tube, it doesn't rattle around. Now what I can do is, and this is done on some of my old pole sections, because I always normally carry two poles up, my spare pole, even though it's never been used, it literally gets marked just where it's been rubbing against the, the, the tube, if I could think what it was. So that's quite a nice little touch. Now I know a few manufacturers do this now, so it's not unique. So that's on the 13 and the 14 and obviously the 16 meter bit. And then you've got your dolly butts. Now, for me personally, it's not a deal breaker, because if it was a deal breaker, I wouldn't have brought it. I wish it had some EVA on the inside, so it just stops dirt and rubbish going up. But that's just a bit nitpicky, really, isn't it? So there's your extension, so for the 13 and for the 14 and the 16 meter bit. So the finish does remind me a bit of the Brown and Zaitan range. So they don't come pre-drilled with a side puller, so you have to put that in yourself. But the finish is spot on. So I've opted to put the Preston roller kits in. So literally on the bank, just fitted it. Took me, what, a couple of minutes, no need to glue. Happy days. So we are still on the lake. So this is me playing a fish at windmill fishery. And it's always windy. Now, for those who know, I've never ever experienced a venue where the fish fight so hard. Now, I'm not sure what it is. Obviously, spring fed, there's a lot of oxygen in the water, there's a lot of vegetation, so the fish are really, really healthy, without doubt. Now, this fish is foul up. Now, I thought it was in the tail, but it wasn't. It turned out to be in the anal fin. Now, I'm playing this fish for about eight minutes. So I've pulled it from the snags from the edge. So, I'm fishing 16 meters with my X5 Shimano pole and I pulled it away from the snags like I just said and then I've got it down to a top kit. Now this proves how strong this top kit is. Now because the top kits are quite long, like a lot of standard top twos, then I need to try and get this fish closer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually pull the elastic from the bottom of the puller and then I'm going to like basically hold the top one section. Now be careful because obviously you don't want this springing, springing into your face to ensure that doesn't happen because obviously you don't want to take your eye out. I mean, I've got safety goggles on as in my glasses, but this is pulling it up look, and holding number one section. So this proves how immensely strong this top kit is. So the super match kits, I definitely recommend. So I got Dave Wilmont 2.6 hybrid elastic. To be honest with you, it ain't quite man enough for this kind of fishing. I don't know what the camera would have picked up on that, but I uh, would say I was pulling quite hard. Nuts. I'm not even going to try and hold it up because I just mental and I'll be worried I'll drop it. So Dave Wilmont's elastic, 2.8 or 6, 2. we'll go for 2.6, so 
high bread wasn't enough for a short kit. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I pulled my red elastic, which is 3.5, halfway up the number four section because I want it tighten up. Now, when you up these fish, so you want to pull them away from the snag. When you get near nut netting range, you want to loosen up the elastic. Because what I found in my experience, if you've got real tight elastic, you pull them out of the snags, and then unfortunately, when they go to run in open water or get into a top kit, you tend to pull out. So, the wind was horrific, so I didn't want to upset anybody with wind noise. So here we go, look. So I've the fish, and I like to pull really hard. Now this puts immense strain on like your number five section. And yes, no, last weekend, so two days ago, unfortunately, that broke his number five section, which in peg nine. Um, so it is absolutely really demanding on your gear. So you can't have any any weaknesses. Now don't get me wrong, I've got a maple pole, very good pole, but it's not built for this. It's, it's, it wouldn't take it because obviously, unfortunately, it's, it's, it's so much lighter. You can't have a super light pole that's super strong. So this, this pole, for me, would do everything. So if I was still fishing rivers or canals, it'd be absolutely perfect. It, ramming it through edges on the canals, speed fishing, fishing like top five then top seven and then freaking 16 meters to the far bank you know happy days so therefore you don't have to worry about little dolly butts or breaking your pole because you got to remember like my 16 meter pole was designed at really 30 meters to fish it wasn't the design to fish it at 10 meters breaking really hard this is why unfortunately a lot of poles do suffer breakages in the middle sections like fishing cast and shallow spinning around and stuff so you see my floats like touching the stomp foe, where it's obviously just gone through through the snags. And look, the fish fight so hard. Look, this fish is nuts. Still wants to fight me now. I'm trying to hold it up. It's not even that big. Probably only what three, four pound max. And that, honestly, these are a nightmare to get out. Look how strong this pole is. This pole is really strong. Pulling fish away from snags. So what's the pole like at 16 meters? Well, it's not as stiff as my MVR for an end fact, but this pole, I wouldn't say it's twice as strong because that'd be exaggerating. But obviously there's more carbon to it, hence why it's heavier, but it can do more. So like, yeah, this is probably the smallest part in the lake that I've just hooked. So this is a 2.4 Maver hybrid elastic through the top two. So I'm fishing a super match kit. No short four. So this is long four in it as well. And also when I was fishing down the edges, it was my long four, not power four. So if I had fished a power four, I'd probably beefing it up even more. So I wanted to test my pole to the limit, which did surprise my mate. He's like, Chris, and you're going to break it in lightly. And I was like, wow. Be careful the word of break. But yeah, so I took it literally first time out, peg 11 on windmill fishery. So if it's going to survive, yeah, that, that is the perfect peg to take it to because that is really extreme. And it's obviously really windy. I'd say the pole's really good at 30 meters, just as good as my MVR4. If anything, it's probably a bit better because it's stronger. So if it's really windy and stuff, then obviously I'd sooner use that to be honest. But fishing 14 16 meters mvr4 comes right into it same as any sort of more top end sort of pole so you're paying the extra money to fish the lengths so obviously people that might know me will fish the mvr4 at 19.8 meters yes i did break it once but i fished it loads of times and i dinked the section so it wasn't a manufactured fault or an inferior good but like look at this look i've hooked this fish it's gone absolutely mental unfortunately i it must be foul up. So this is put again, putting so much strain on your gear. 022 straight through. Um, so there's no, I don't believe in having any weaknesses at all fishing here. And unfortunately, it does come off. It just pulls out. So I'm pretty sure it's foul up. 
you want to see the poll in more action, it might be worth looking at the link above now. For me fishing it 16 meters on peg 22 on this lake. So this is windmill fishery. And it just shows like, again, how strong it is. I'm pulling fish away from the reeds. I haven't caught any monsters on it yet. This is the biggest fish I've caught. Uh, biggest match weight was 178 pound on this lake. Uh, but I caught short on a top kit plus one. So it doesn't really show how powerful the cut pole is really, does it? But that's probably the biggest fish. I'd imagine yeah, I didn't have any scales. It's more heavier than it looks. I'd imagine that's probably about maybe 10, 11 pound. I wouldn't think it's much bigger to be honest but they are absolutely solid and as you can see it's absolutely mint so i hope you've enjoyed the video this was non-sponsored i wasn't paid to make this video this video is just there to help you anyway hope you've enjoyed it catch you soon